Give me a moment. I'm trying to figure this one out myself. Okay. Yeah, this looks pretty bad. What happened, Lucas? I thought you were chasing the White Pumpkin. Uh, yeah, I was. And I almost had him until, you know, he took me by surprise and stuffed this pumpkin on my head. Well, what's going on in here? No! <gasps> you called the White Pumpkin! Grab him, quick! On it! Get out of our way, Jesse. Come on, you guys, think about it. Lucas would have never had the time. That's not exactly much assurance. You two have been constantly running around this mansion with no one watching you. Yeah, for all we know, maybe you're his little accomplice or something. It's the facts, Jesse. These horrible things only started happening when your group arrived. And now, Lizzie has gone too. I say we throw him outside and let nature take its course. What? Out outside? Outside? Where all the googlies are? No, you can't do that. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I still have my suspicions about Lucas, but Jesse did save me. I don't feel right about chucking your friend to the zombies. Hm. Brave stance. Oh man, I'm so glad you said that. We really are just here to help. Fine. <sighs> Thank you. Don't go celebrating yet. We've still got to do something with you so you're not roaming around freely. What? Like, lock me up in a closet or something? There was a closet in the main hall with a lovely metal door. Seems like a perfect place to lock someone up. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> I was mostly joking. I guess that's fair. But I'm keeping guard because I still don't trust him. That cool with everyone? You okay with that, Lucas? Well, <laughs> I'd prefer not being locked in a closet. It's fine, Jesse. I'll watch over Lucas. Awesome. Come on, Cassie. But don't go getting any funny ideas, blonde guy. This isn't because I like you or anything. No, of course not. Be quiet. Prisoners aren't supposed to talk. Okay, but well, what are we supposed to do now? We need to figure out how we're going to clear Lucas's name. And I'd like to do it sooner rather than later. Seems like some of these people are getting a little stir-crazy. Somehow, the White Pumpkin was able to escape that room when Lucas chased him into it. We need to figure out how he did that. Sounds like a plan to me. secret passage.
Okay, that seems like a step in the right direction. Seems right. There we go. Awesome. Oh, wow! You got it open! Yeah, you guys should stay here. It could be dangerous. No, I totally want to follow you into your friend's creepy secret passageways. Ugh, seriously? You really think Lucas did it? You haven't proven that he didn't yet. Hey, we're gonna prove he's innocent. You'll see. Sure, well, see you back here at quarter to never. Come on, Petra. Thanks for having my back. Wow, that is deep. Guess it leads down to whatever the white pumpkin calls home. I wonder how he gets down there. Maybe in addition to walking through walls, he can fly for all we know. Ugh! It's just... I'm really worried about Lucas. Those people think they're all safe, but the White Pumpkin is still running around, and he could strike again at any minute. Not to mention, all those people back there have been so ungrateful, so petty. Hey, Petra. I understand, okay? I'm with you. You're right. I know you're right. <sighs> Sorry, Jesse. I just really needed to get that off my chest. We're gonna get through this. Let's start by figuring out how we're gonna get down there, huh? You know the drill. What have you got in your inventory? Didn't you have all those wood blocks? Sorry, I was whittling earlier. Nervous habit. Well, luckily, those should do just the trick. You thinking ladder? Oh, yeah. Gonna need a lot of them. I'll race you. <laughs> You're on. We've got a lot more of these to make. Let's get to work. Okay, that's one down. Lots more to go. we'd make it. Yeah, I just hope this works. You think we're gonna find the white pumpkin down here? With all these secret passageways, it's so hard to tell where he might be. I'll be honest. I hope we do. And this time, he's not walking away with just a scar on his mask. Brutal. I like it. Hey, do you hear... Lots and lots of zombies? Yeah, I do. Starting to smell them too. Ugh, ditto. Gross. Oh, well, that explains all the zombie noises. Like zombie spawner. 
Does that mean the white pumpkin actually made the sea of zombies outside? That's what it looks like. What's that? I think this is where people's stuff goes after those hoppers upstairs suck it up. You're right. I think that's Lizzie's. Okay, but where's the loot going from here? Hopefully, right to the White Pumpkin. Hey, you see the light coming out of that tunnel too, right? Huh? Oh, yeah. And it doesn't look like it's blocked off like all the, uh, zombie-filled ones. If we can get up there, I think we might be able to follow the loot to wherever it's going. Well, that's awesome. Nice find. How do you want to get up there? Grab some dirt, Petra. We're going climbing. Okay, I think we can jump from here. Embarrassing. Thanks, Jesse. No problem. Weird. That almost sounds like cats. sort of growing station. Weird. The white pumpkin must have hurt us. <laughs> Stampy cat? Boy, you gave me a fright. What are you doing down here? What are we doing down here? Yes, it looks terribly suspicious, you know. Looks like we're catching you in the act, white pumpkin. No, no, not me. That's not me. I was just curious. Come on, you guys. I can't be the white pumpkin. I'm Stampy Cat. I'm no murderer. Huh? I needed to find you because I have something important to tell you. I have something to confess. Something I haven't told anyone. Where is this going? I stole it from Dan. It was just supposed to be a joke, a harmless prank, but then, well, you've seen what happened. Wow. Who'd have thought? I knew people wanted it, but I had no idea that, that this would happen. Wow. Stampy Cat with the enchanted flint and steel. Didn't see that one coming. Definitely suspicious. I know, and that's why I had to keep it a secret. I may be a thief, but I'm no killer! But that white pumpkin is, and he's killing people for it, and now we're down in his lair! I was thinking maybe I should just give it to the white pumpkin. What? Just maybe that would make it all stop, right? Maybe? First, we need to figure out who this white pumpkin really is. Then we'll figure out what to do from there. I, I suppose that's a better strategy. That looks like a lair door, if I ever saw one. Oh, wow. Very creepy. I would not put this in my top ten places I've ever been. Well, there's where the meowing's coming from. Don't worry. We'll get out of here as soon as we find something that proves the White Pumpkin's identity. Uh. 
chest definitely seems important. Okay, kitty kitty. Can you scoot out of the way, please? I need to get in the chest. No, bad kitty! Ah, stupid cats. Need something to distract it if I'm going to get that chest open. I'm guessing this chest should have... Yep, we've got sticks. Anything else? Oh, wow. And ender pearls. Sweet. That must have been how the white pumpkin got down that elevator shaft. Oh, no. Here's where everyone's stuff gets collected. Those poor people. Petra, did you see this? That's the portal hallway. Yeah, looks like the White Pumpkin's been there too. See here, Legends of the World portals, basic portal theory, portals and you. Wow, they're all about portals. It's pretty obsessive. Should be able to get some string from those cobwebs. It'll go perfectly with those sticks I found. Yeah. Now just to figure out where I can catch one. Looks like a typical brewing stand. Must be where the White Pumpkin made the tipped arrows that killed Torque Dog. Didn't Lizzie say that she taught Cassie and Stacy how to make those too? Oh, yeah. Yeah, she did. Jesse. Thanks. I bet that cat'll love this. Okay, here, kitty. Get the fishy. Creeps. No offense, Stampy. None taken. I'm not really a cat. At least I can finally get in here now. It's full of portraits. Loads of them. Oh, I don't like that. I guess he already had all the X'd out ones ready to go. Yep, besides Petra, we've got Dan, Stacy, Stampy, Lucas, Ivor, and... Hey! There's me. But what does it all mean? The cats, the crossed out portraits? Yeah, the portraits. There was one person who didn't have a crossed out portrait. Someone who's a known cat person. Okay, so who did it? Yes, you figured it out? The white pumpkin is Cassie Rose. She's the murderer. You're 
totally right. I don't believe it. Uh, not only is she the white pumpkin, but she owns way, way too many cats. Well, come on, you guys. It's time to prove Lucas's innocence and catch us a white pumpkin. I'll go round everyone up. What's going on? Yeah, you were gone an awful long time. What's going on here? Did you even find anything? Where's Cassie Rose? Cassie? Why do you ask? Yeah, what's up? No sign of Cassie, but... Huh? Are you going to tell them, or should I just do it? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Jesse, go on. Is this going where I think this is going? The White Pumpkin is Cassie Rose! She's the murderer! <laughs> That's impossible. No way. No way. Yeah, Jesse, I'm afraid you're gonna have to do better than that. Look at the facts. We caught Lucas with that pumpkin head right after poor Lizzie got taken out. I think you're just lying to protect him. Cassie's making a lot of sense right now. Do you have any evidence to back you up? There's something that's been bothering me for a while now. Something that happened in the Great Hall shortly after Torque Dog was hit with that trap. What's that? Go on, Jesse. You've got this. Where is this going? Shh. Let Jesse finish. Cassie Rose was already in the room. No one else there. And Torque Dog's picture was somehow crossed Th out. That doesn't prove anything! Lucas is still way guiltier looking. Well, what about what came next? When we were down in the basement, we found some very interesting items. Items for the White Pumpkin's evening festivities. And there was one very significant detail. What was this evidence? Shh. I think Jesse's about to tell everyone. The White Pumpkin had portraits all ready to go, pre-exed out. One for each of us. Except for Cassie. <gasps> Ooh, that's good. You're doing great, Jesse. Now go in for the kill. Metaphorically. But it was the last piece of evidence, dear friends, that helped me really figure out who we were dealing with here. Cats. Dozens of calico cats. And they all looked just like Winslow. An amusing story, Jesse. But if you saw all these supposed cats just like mine, then what color is Winslow? It shouldn't be a problem if you saw a hundred. Cats? Really? Shh. Winslow is black, white, and orange. Cassie, is this all true? This whole thing has been about your crazy scheme to get a portal key, hasn't it? Killing whoever gets in your way. How very clever, Jesse. Well, I guess that's it then. You caught me. I am the murderer. I just don't believe this. I know. I was shocked too. But what did any of us ever do to you? Directly? Nothing. But you idiots had the one thing that I most desperately needed. I've been stuck in this stupid world with its stupid two moons for years! Trapped with a portal right under my nose, but no key to open it. That is, until I finally heard that this world's portal key had been found. I knew it was one of you. So I tried my best to earn your friendship, figure out who had it. Cassie, how could you? We shared cookies together. Cookies! You really think that's an excuse? You're pathetic, Cassie. It doesn't excuse all the horrible things you've done. Spoken just like a person who has no idea what it feels like to be stuck somewhere you don't belong. We need to do something with you, Cassie Rose. I vote we build an obsidian prison and surround it with love. No, 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 I won't let you do that. I can't. No! This is your fault! You did this to me! Ah! I'll fight all of you! Each and every one of you! I'll... Whoa! Another trap! We need to dig her out! After everyone she's hurt, she can dig herself out. She did terrible things, but no one deserves this! Wait! Look! 
I can't believe it. She's gone. What a way to go. Yeah, I guess in all the chaos, she forgot where her own traps were. Wow. That's awful. Wow. The trapper taken out by one of her own traps. That's ironic. If only she had just asked us for help, we could have avoided this whole thing. Hey, it's morning. I guess, I guess that's it then. Yeah, we're free. And we're alive. Let's not waste it standing around. There could still be traps everywhere in here. <laughs>